Hey guys, um, today we're gonna look at how to wrap in a wool blanket, okay? And wool blankets have been used for centuries, and uh, they've been used for centuries for different reasons. Obviously, we all know wool's a great insulator, and the famous sentence is, wool retains 80% of its insulated value even when it's soaking wet. And that's why wool is such a great fabric to use in a wilderness situation, whether it be survival, camping, bushcraft, woodsman, trip kind of stuff whatever it's just a great thing to carry also for simplicity you know a sleeping bag can easily fall apart on you the zipper might be out of function with a wool blanket you don't have to worry about any of that stuff it's gonna keep you warm if it's wet and it doesn't just fall apart on you okay so uh, let me get my wool blanket out and I'll show you how to wrap in it <clears throat> okay so what I got right here guys is my wool blanket rolled up it's just held together by a couple of cheapo leather straps from a second-hand shop pretty much didn't cost anything so uh, also got the sleeping mat rolled inside of it so uh, that's the way I like to roll it up kind of bed roll fashion okay okay guys welcome back okay first thing Rule number one, don't want to sleep in your boots, okay? You don't want to sleep in your boots. But you want to wear, you know, dry socks pretty much all the time when sleeping. But if your socks are wet, you're better off not wearing them anyway. So, going to sleep in dry socks or not at all? The first way you can sleep in one of these things is just to, you know, Flap it over like a sandwich, basically, and then lay in between the two layers. Like this. Okay guys, so so what you can see is I'm laying diagonally. I got one corner here, one corner on my left side, one at my feet, and one at my head. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this end, the corner down at my feet, and I'm gonna take it over my feet, and I'm gonna kinda tuck it in there, okay? Then I'm gonna take this corner and put it over my feet like this and underneath, on this side. Then I'm gonna come back and make sure I'm on my sleeping mat, if I got one of those with me. And make sure it's tucked underneath. Take this side, the other corner, and rev underneath like that. Then you can get real good inside your wool blanket here. Now if I have a fire next to me, that's alright, I can still, you know, put firewood on it if I keep the firewood close. So if you want to sleep close to a fire this way with a wool blanket, sure you can do that. It's not a problem. 